Hi, this is Steve Keeter, and uh, let's talk comics. Um, today we have a special guest with us. If you look way back in the background here on that screen, that's the Fanatic Press logo. Fanatic Press is an outfit run uh, by Alan Freeman, and Alan is here today. It's nice to be here uh, at Steve's house, and uh, it looks a lot like my house, actually. Very similar. Um, really nice. I, I, you know, he's got the Olympic pool maids and the uh, servants and things. Uh. Uh, okay, Alan has been publishing at least since the early '80s. Uh, you know, and the guy has been publishing some outstanding anthology titles. Uh, I got a whole bunch of copies here. I mean, look at this. I got all the. These are from the 80s. Uh, uh, the Slam Bang. I include issue number one. Here's issue number one and uh, number two. Um, you know, he's always been able to bring a lot of uh, talented people together and publish uh, some of the best anthologies you'll ever find anywhere. And I uh, like this particular issue. We can see here uh, uh, Jim Sierge, uh, John McLeod. Uh, Barry Brandon, uh, Michael Caine, um, Matt Fiesel, uh Bill Fitz, Russ Miller, I mean these are the greats, Brad Foster. How did you get started with Slam Bang and um, what is it uh, about that particular title uh, that leads you to continue that to this very day? I thought there were so many great comic strips, uh, comic creators out there and the um, great to have a lot of those collected into one book where people could buy one book and then see so many different creators and um, so I just thought up the name Slam Bang uh, which to me meant uh, like action-packed and uh, kind of thrown together but I just saw Slam Bang as a way for a lot of people whose work I really admired to uh, be seen. You've done a lot of publishing over the years and uh, there's this character here there's this character and here's a uh, a really nice, nice, nice cover. Uh, this is Morgana X. Uh, Morgana X, uh, this particular issue, uh, is from 1994. Uh, it was penciled by Mark Hester, inked by Alan Freeman. The writer was Dennis Feeback. Um, this is a great character. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, Morgana X? Well, yeah, Morgana X was a character that I wrote um, uh, 1986 or 7 I submitted the story to the Ron L. Hubbard uh, Writers of the Future contest and though it wasn't picked for anything there I did get some interest from some artists in particular Quentin Hoover uh, said that he would be willing to pencil the Morganic story in fact the cover you showed uh, that Morgana issue you have right there is uh, Quentin Hoover uh, did the pencils on that cover he and I put out some issues from uh, through Jim Main's Cat's Paw Comics, and then Sky Comics um, also put out a few issues, and I'm bringing that back uh, with my Fanatic Press uh, company right now. Well, that's interesting. You know, this is this is a uh, a newer title, uh, Doc Paradox. Doc Paradox. Here it is. It's in a plastic bag. Look at that artwork. Now, who does that? Who's the artist on this title? Created, uh, written, drawn, colored, everything by uh, Paul Allen. Look at this incredible artwork. This is beautiful. It's simple, but it's uh, quite beautiful. Uh, the coloring really adds to it. I, I really like this page. Uh, um, look at that. That is incredible. But what really has impressed me uh, recently have been the huge slam bang anthologies. They're like graphic novels. I mean, look at this. This thing is huge. Here's Slam Bang uh, number one, the explosive 200 page comic anthology. Absolutely a brilliant, brilliant comic. Uh, the cream of the crop of, of comics, of small press. Uh, here we go again Tim Corrigan, Dan Taylor, just go down the line. Uh, Christopher Moshe, uh, Moshe, uh, Chris Mosher, uh, Jeff Gaither. Any page you turn to, is a knockout every single page and uh, that we thought that was something and the second issue is even bigger and better with this really strange cover 